Into the dark unknown, I walk by faith alone and see. Welcome to the life of a superior priest. I'm Father Samuel Schneider, and I am a priest of the Diocese of Superior. Now, some people might think that I'm a superior priest. Doesn't have any statement really about how great I am, although I'm pretty ordinary in a lot of ways. So there's nothing too crazy or extraordinary about me as a person, other than the fact that God works extraordinary things through me in the Diocese of Superior. Growing up in the diocese and now being a priest of the diocese very much forms how I live and what I do. Right? I'm living differently than I would if I was a priest of Florida or California or Nebraska, right? Um, and thus, I am a superior priest through and through. The church kind of takes form in the different cultures that we're a part of. And part of the culture of northern Wisconsin is, of course, being in God's country. Where we've got lakes and we've got forests and we've got lots of nature going on. And slowly slipped away into shades of gray, nearly black. But Lord, in your mercy, you have never shown your back. All my selfishness and pride, all the times I've tried to hide from your eyes. Your love always knew me, your love saw right through. You know, you see a priest on Sunday at Mass, maybe the confessional, maybe at some, some other times, but what does a priest do with a lot of his time? I remember one of my cousins, he was um, telling his mom, oh, I want to be a priest when I grow up. They only have to work one hour on Sunday. Now, of course, that's the extreme, like, yeah, a priest doesn't do anything. But then the other extreme is, oh, you're so busy, you, you do so many things, and yeah, but isn't everybody busy? Isn't everybody doing stuff? Some of the other things that a priest gets to do uh, that I'm very grateful to, that I, I get to kind of jump in, is, is different uh, activities with kids. Also on occasion get to stop in and answer questions that they might have to tell them about the priesthood or maybe why am I a priest, right? Was I born a priest? Well, no, I wasn't born a priest, right? Did I always want to be a priest? No, uh, but I did at a certain point feel called by God to be a priest. I get to also have a lot of fun. You know, I love going out to recess with the kids and uh, might uh, do something kind of crazy like dress up like a dinosaur and, you know, play King of the Hill with another blow-up dinosaur, you know? Or visit a classroom that's uh, talking about extinction for dinosaurs and eating up their papers, right? I mean, who knows? Some of the things that, of course, all priests do are, of course, celebrate the sacraments. That we're ordained to celebrate the sacraments, most especially the Eucharist which is the source and summit of our faith, which is just so amazing. I know that's what really drew me in first to the priesthood, was that there was something more in the Eucharist than, than what you could just see there. I just love uh, being able to celebrate the Eucharist, being able to pray with the people, but then also getting to preach in that as well, in that role. And being able to tell people about the love of God and about what kind of effect it has on their own personal life and how that changes the world that they understand. The other thing that I've been really blessed with in my life is confession. I'm just absolutely blessed uh, to be able to hear confessions at any time. I, I tell people that I'll hear a confession uh, uh, anytime 
other than during Mass or when I start processing up to Mass, right? That mercy of God being able to be bestowed at any time is just a great gift that I get to, uh, to be able to be uh, ordained to give, right? To not be through myself, but through the ordination and through the grace of Jesus Christ and the, and the church. I also get to baptize babies, which is a lot of fun. 3 a.m. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. One of the other sacraments I get to assist with in a parish is Holy Matrimony. It's a great sacrament where I'm blessed to be able to walk with and prepare young couples for their vocation of marriage. I also get to administer the sacrament of anointing of the sick. And this is a beautiful sacrament that bestows an amazing amount of grace and peace in the midst of people's great need and hardship. So when you get ordained a priest, you have to work until you die, basically, right? Well, not really. A uh, priest gonna actually get a day off. What? Yeah, a whole day off. I try to go home at least once a month and get to see my parents as well as my brothers and sister. Or I go and visit other friends, get to spend some time with families that I've gotten to know throughout the diocese or throughout Wisconsin. One of the other things that I get to do is, is take vacation. Really, even the day off and the vacation is ordered in a certain extent uh, to being able to come back fully human in the midst of it all. When the sun comes up and the road lay before me but instead of hope, I feel the fear of the unknown. When my doubts feel as tall. I'm Father Samuel Schneider, and I am a priest of the Diocese of Superior. And so, I am a superior priest. Um, you can take it, or leave it. You say to be strong. Out here on the farm, uh, just taking care of some pigs and taking out some thistle plants. Uh, just my normal day off. No. I am a superior priest. You'll have to make the judgment whether I'm a good priest or not. Well, no, actually, you won't make the judgment. What the heck am I talking about? I'm trying to finish this up in some some good coherent way. Uh, I'm so weary. When my back is bent beneath a heavy load When the evil one tries to steal my joy away Actually, that wasn't me. That was an awesome parishioner that I've got uh, who's amazing wakeboarder. This is more like me. To be strong and courageous the child